Hi, everybody, and welcome to Entertainment Tonight. Coming to you from LA Live above Nokia Plaza, home of the Emmys, just one week away. In fact, you can hear them down there working on what is going to be the Emmy red carpet. So it might be a little noisy from time yes. to time. The excitement is building, though, and tonight we're looking at a, another hotter than hot trend the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. For such a great cause, yeah. and this really, really warms my heart as my mama passed away from ALS, my sweet mama. Well, everybody is doing it, and we did our part on Friday. And my good friends, Oprah, Garth Brooks, the CBS This Morning team, Gail. Charlie, Nora, thank you, thank you all accepting my challenge this weekend, and you're going to see it. All right, way to go, guys. Along with Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, and Justin Bieber, well, he did it twice. The second time, uh, shirtless to get a little bit of ice bucket crap. Well, I'm just glad he raised awareness with all of us. <laughs> the ALS Association said they have received 15 million in donations wow. in the last few weeks, and right. tonight we are tracing the origins of the ice bucket challenge and looking at how getting a cold dunk has become so hot. Have you heard about the uh, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge? <laughs> JT here. I hereby accept your ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I'm Kaylee Cuoco Sweeting. Ah! Adam Levine! <laughs> That's cold. ALS Ice Bucket, bring it on! By 10.45 this morning, more than 200 stars had posted their own viral ice challenge videos. J-Lo did it in workout gear. Twins Max and Emmy were there. Chris Pratt was doused five times from above by wife Anna Ferris. Lena Dunham and Iggy Azalea did it in their swimsuits. Soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo took the challenge in his underwear. <laughs> and after Justin Bieber's first attempt was called out for being lame, he did a shirtless take two. But today, it is hard to believe that some people would actually criticize this campaign, which is obviously doing a ton of good. Some people who evidently don't understand it have called it an example of slacktivism, where people post online for social causes with little real impact. That's ridiculous. We talked today with the man who helped start the challenge, Pat Quinn. Even if one out of ten people are learning about ALS or a few people out of the whole group are actually learning something, that's more than what we previously had. Very true. And here's a timeline of how this became a social phenomenon. It first went viral August the 7th when 200 friends of baseball player Pete Frades took the challenge. On August the 10th, 86-year-old Ethel Kennedy nominated the Commander-in-Chief. And the viral campaign reached a fever pitch Friday when Bieber's 27.5 million followers retweeted the hashtag ALS Ice Bucket Challenge more than a half a million times just that day. And personally, I can tell you firsthand why this campaign is great and why it matters so much. Research, awareness, and finding a cure is so desperately needed. For me, you see, I lost my mom to ALS back in 2008. So when we filled up those buckets, took the plunge, made a donation, and then challenged my influential friends to help spread the word, all I could think of is the hope that one day, not another person will have to face this horrific disease. I accept the ice bucket challenge from you, Tyler Perry, and you, Nancy O'Dell. Ah, ah. Stop! Stop it! I accept the ALS ice bucket challenge from Nancy O'Dell. Oh, I accept the challenge of Chris Lick and Nancy O'Dell. Let's do it. Nancy O'Dell, Garth Brooks. Um, it's an honor to accept your ALS ice bucket challenge, um, especially it is very much wonderful honor of mine to accept it in your beautiful mother Betty's name. Woo! And Nancy O'Dell, doing this for your mother. I am ready for the ice now. That's for such a good cause. And big, big kiss to all my celebrity friends who did that for nice me. Work. Cause near and dear to my heart. And I know that even though you were on vacation, you actually did the challenge too. Well, I'm not one to back down from a challenge. I know it's close <laughs> to your heart. And quite honestly, I didn't want to feel left out. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I a little know. bit of a girly scream yeah, going on was, there, but it was. it was for a good cause. And listen, I hope you made an extra large donation because you got to do yours from Hawaii. I, I did. It was a, quite a cushy <laughs> ice bucket challenge for sure.